Alright everybody, I'm about to show you four different ways you can carry your bow on a Timberhawk kill shot backpack. Alright, we're going to start with the first way. We're going to undo these straps right here. We're going to put our bow so that the handle is about right there. We're going to go over the string with the other on a bow string. I've hunted with the system for five years and I can tell you I haven't had any problems with the string. However, you'll also notice that the load is, al is really going against this nylon webbing. It's not really directly on the hypalon. So we're going to secure it down here and then we're also going to secure it on top right here so that the bow doesn't move around like this. That's the first way second way we're going to carry the bow. What if you're on a four-wheeler or a horse? I prefer to run it this way. That way you can clip on directly onto the riser. Make sure your sight is out of the way but that it's not so high it's going to hit you in the head. Keep it right about there. This one right here. And for extra stability you might want to go like this. So that's for your horse or your four-wheeler. But there are other ways to carry the bow. Now because everybody's bow is different, this third solution is not going to work for everybody. In my case, I had to take my arrows off my bow to make this work. But what it will do is offer you a little more protection. Offer your bow a little more protection. I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to open this up. There's just enough space for my stabilizer to fit there and my sight to fit through here. So it's protecting that part of my bow. Now, the fourth way I'm going to show you is similar, but you're going to run your bow on the outside of the pocket. That's going to allow you quick access to your bow if you set it up correctly. So first what we're going to do is secure the pocket down this clip and this is going to be the main clip supporting the bow. We're going to find a good spot to go over our bow that's not going to interfere with anything. Right there. And we're going to tighten it up. Now you say well there's not much holding the bow up there and you're right. You can also undo this top one right here and then clip it. So you got to make sure you can reach this one and that one. Then you can get pull your bow off on the fly. This is our Big Bear lumbar pack. It's an oversized uh, lumbar pack with a shoulder harness and waist belt. One of its key features is an expandable day pack section which unzips in this top pocket, you unroll it, and then it clips into two buckles located on the shoulder harness. The lumbar pack is approximately 800 cubic inches, and the expandable day pack section is 1900 cubic inches. So it does give you a lot of extra space when you deploy the expandable day pack section. Another key feature with this pack would be a front organizational pocket. It also has extra lashing points for any additional gear. The side has a water bottle mesh pocket and then another or the other side has an additional uh, side pocket for extra gear. The waist belt has uh, two pockets and is padded for extra support. The shoulder strap or waist belt could be completely removable just to help with weight. The Big Bear is also compatible with our accessory pockets. You connect those through buckles located on the shoulder harness and then on the sides of the waist belt. And that is our Big Bear pack. <laughs>